Hey there. So, um, we've been catching a lot of pike this summer, and a lot of people say they don't want to clean pike because they're really bony. Some people are afraid to catch them or keep them, and uh, they're such a good eating fish, and it's not that hard to clean them. So, I want to show you real quick just how to breeze your way through a pike. I know there are other ways to do it. There are a few ways to do it. Someone may think we miss a little meat or whatever. I'm feeding kids, and if I miss some meat to save bones, that's a fair trade-off for me. So I'm gonna show you real quick how we do our pike. So right here, I've got a couple nice pike we caught last night, right here. There they are. Uh, we got a nice 32, this is a 36. Uh, that's my son's personal best right now. Uh, here's a pike fillet that we cut. I'm gonna get to work on this boy right here and I'm gonna just do one quick side and walk you through this, okay? I, always, I like to keep my, my hand on the head and all I'm doing is I'm running right down the spine all the way. I'm gonna take off ribs and everything. I'm gonna try and miss this fin if I can. So I'm just gonna go straight down and then I'm just working my way down this fish. I'm cutting through bones, I can feel that. Looks like that fin's coming with us. That's okay, I can take it out later. Okay, going all the way down. Got some bees buzzing around me. That's okay, they don't eat a lot. Okay, all the way to the tail. There's my pike fillet. I'm gonna let him go take a break. And let's look at this. What's going on here? First, I've got a little fin. I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so let's look at this fish. This is the top of the fish, here's the bottom. This is the stomach lining, okay? This is where the head would be, that's where the tail would be. I start at the tail. The bones in a pike are bigger at the front of the fish and they get smaller as you go down. Pretty soon the ribs stop right about there. Now the Y bones, that's what everyone freaks out about. There's a row of bones, they're shaped like a Y, and I guess they're kind of like this in the fish. So this is right here, and this is right there. They meet together and they run down that way. We'll get to those, but the best part of a pike is right around, I'm feeling and I can feel tick, 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 little Y bones, tick, 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 and then they stop. And this section that I'm going to cut off has no bones in it. This is the one I give my kids, little kids, if people are trying fish, I don't want them to have to fight with bones at all or whatever. This little piece, done. Okay, next piece, I'm gonna maybe break this into three. I'm just gonna go like that, get it off the skin, there's one, like that, get it off the skin. Uh, maybe a little skin with it, that's okay. Okay, last, whoop. Last one. All right. Skin goes in a the bucket. There's the bucket. Okay. All these pieces. So let's do it like this. We're going to put our fish back together. Here. Our morning puzzle. All right. Top of the fish, bottom of the fish. All these fillets have the same problem. They have ribs here and they have Y bones here, okay? We're gonna treat all of these the same, so I'm just gonna take the middle one. First thing I wanna do is I wanna cut those ribs off. So I'm gonna get just under the ribs, and I'm just drawing the knife really gently. My goal is lose as little meat as I can and get that silver skin with the ribs off of it, okay? Remember, this is the belly of the fish right here. So I'm cutting, in theory, I'm cutting down towards the bottom of the fillet. Okay, just doing this. I'm just gonna pull this blade across. Keep doing that, we're almost there. And pew, that's all ribs, bucket. Now we're gonna tackle those Y bones and here's what they do. If we look really closely, you can see a series of white dots going down the fillet here. That's the top of the Y you can see a series of dots along here. That's the bottom, the other stem of the Y, and they run like that. So I want to get a strip of meat we call the hot dog, and it's right here. And I'm just going to cut down until I feel my blade kind of rub along the bones, and then I'm going to turn my blade sideways. And if I'm doing this right, if I look inside this cut, I see a bunch of bones that I'm not getting. All those little lines, that's the Y bones. I'm gonna keep cutting on top of those. Okay, I'm gonna take off this cigar. I'm sorry, we call it the hot dog. Hot dog is off. Nice little piece of meat, fish taco right there. 
boom. All right, so now if I'm looking from the side, the Y goes like this and like this. And we gotta start under those white dots. There, there, there shows me where I gotta cut. So I gotta start under them. So I'm gonna go about right here and I'm gonna keep this cut really shallow. All I want to get is Y bones and the meat that's stuck in the middle of those Y bones. I want to leave as much of the fillet as I can. Okay, so I'm just going to keep pulling that blade. For me, that's my most delicate cut. Okay, now I can see the Y bones right there, and I'm going to try and get so close that I can almost see my knife cruising underneath there. Okay, this I got a little bit more off than I wanted to, but we're still going to get... Okay, there. Now notice, there's all the Y bones. That's the piece that's all bones. This is all bones. It looks like you're giving up a lot of meat, but it's all bones. Fuck it. And what I'm left with is this nice piece of meat here. I would do this with the other pieces. So remember, when you break down a pike fillet, feel until the pin bo those uh, Y bones stop. This piece, again, no bones. Okay. And then... I cut the fish into chunks. Remember, you remove the ribs. Then you flip it around and you cut out the hot dog. Then you trim out the Y bones and you're all set.